guys, your boy Vyond, so welcome back to the Pokemon Crew Road. Yes, the Pokemon Crew Road, where we take Barcelona and we try to become the very best. Like no one ever was. I just want to say thank you guys for your continued support on the series. It's been incredible. We've been hitting over a thousand views and over a hundred likes on every single one. So if you can, if you do enjoy this series, show me some love. It would be really appreciated if you go ahead and click and hit that like button. We can get 151 of these likes. I will love all your faces. Like Brock Love Nurse Joy. Mm. That's love. That's love. That's real love. If you're new to the series, you're like Pokemon Chrome Mode. That makes no sensey sense. Well, I advise that you go back to the first episode, which will explain all the rules and whatnot. But you can pretty much jump in. It's easy enough to follow along. So I think you'll be fine. I think you'll be fine. Ooh, you fine. To recap, in the last episode, guys, we were able to get the young PSV left back, Jethro Williams. He is going to be a nice little addition if we vote him in. We did draw up against Chelsea, which did get us an extremely lucky pull of getting Willian, but at a 50-50% draw, he escaped to capture, and that was absolutely uh, devastating. It was... You guys, I know, I know, I said Zirkovich a million times in the last episode. I know it's Zivkovic, it's just in the heat of the moment my brain turns off and I'm just doing commentary and it comes out as Zirkovic. I will work on it, I promise. I will work on it. And guys, we've been running a little bit long. I want to keep these episodes under 20 minutes, so we're only going to be doing three games from now on. Hopefully you guys are okay with that, but we got some big games coming up in this one. First up, Aston Villa. Second up, Olympic Leon. Third... Newcastle United. Come on, guys, let's get a lock set in this episode. Let go. All right, guys, so first we're going to put in Jethro Williams, and I realize even though he's a left back, he's got four star weak foot, so we could play him in the right back position, and he'd be just fine. So, yeah, we don't have a right back situation or a left back situation. We got two pretty good left backs and right backs. I, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. But we're going up into this match up against Team Rocket, the Ashton Villains. How are we going to play up against this? Because we are starting most of our second teamers, as you can see, no Harry Kane, no Zerkovic. Uh, but for them, apparently, when we start our second team, the CPU knows, and is starting their second team, Steer? I've never even heard of some of these people. Heard? They have two C Sanchez's, none of which I know. But yeah, I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie, I ain't going to be mad at that, but we would have the first chance right here as Sandro is in. Recently found out Sandra can actually play striker, so we do actually have four strikers on the team. But what is the actual, what is actual freaking uh, Barcelona B doing? Like, do they just not play a lot of strikers? Do they only have, like, one striker on the team? That is weird. It's weird, man. Come on, Barcelona. I think you'd have more attacking talents than that. But as you can see right here, good little, and look at this. I don't know how he gets that ball to snap up into the air, but that was impressive. Impressive defense right there. Creative de defense. And then we go inside. And much like the English Gerard, our Gerard doesn't really have any pace anymore. But now they were on top of it. And look at that. Rising to the top. But Kozak cannot put it in. And that's that's what I'm talking about, guys. Who is Kozak? I've never heard of these people before. But I have heard of Sancho. Fake shot inside. And going far post. And just passing it into the back of the net. Well done, young man. And give me, give me that. Give me that Benjeke, guys. Give me all that good stuff. They got some good players. Give me that Delph. Give me that Jack Grealish, perhaps. Big shot inside. And the defenseman just left watching right there. Ball watching. And we are able to obliterate and hyper beam into the back of the net. Well done, young man, Sandro. And this isn't our top team. So once I get the goal, you know the rules, guys. Wall and or stall <laughs> is how I'm going to go. We're going to go ahead. But we're not actually putting five in the back right here as we don't have enough fresh center backs. Having a little bit of a salmon issue, not going to lie. But we are able to win it away right away. And uh, yeah, that would be it going into halftime. Not going to be mad at that, but they would start off in Aston Villa. Uh, had other plans for us as they knock it in. Oh! And how did he not get a better shot on target right there? This is really B team versus B team, I must say, because look at these finishes. They are absolutely atrocious. But then Team Rocket, could they get something right here? Oh! Off of the crossbar. A warning shot. A warning shot on us. But could we heed the warning right here? As it's whipped into the far post. And we're able to knock it away. But what were we doing? Undoing the ever. I mean, I've been singing the praises of the Graveler in goal, guys, on Doa, but this is not one of his finer moments, guys, and freaking Tom Cleverly, of all people, was able to knock it in, and right there, on Doa just decides to get hurt in the con- he must have been zoo batted. he must have gotten hurt in the confusion, because look at this, he just knocks it uh, right into the path, I'm just gonna hit it 
a little bit into the air and it lands ever so softly. Goes off of the back of our defender right there. Nothing we could really do. Undilla. I still got faith in you. I still got faith in you, buddy, but that was a little bit derpy. That was a little bit derpy. And then Gerard goes down with a knock. This wasn't the... I mean, it was fun in the first half, but, but now it's just getting a little bit ridiculous. And we got to trade him out. And, uh, yeah, let's see if we can see out this game, guys. 94th minute. Could we possibly get a winner right here? Good movement, but... Team Rocket is able to snuff it out the last second. I thought we might have gotten a goal, but not bad, not bad. I'll take the draw. I'll take the draw. It looked like Aston Villa was starting most of their second teamers as well, which means most of their first teamers will be in the short grass for this 50 50 pull. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and walk through the tall grass right here and see who we can pick up. Let's dig deep. Let's get a Bendeke. Yeah, that's what we need. We need a Bendeke. Actually, literally, we do need like a backup striker. Okay. Out of these two, I picked two, and we're gonna go, let me feel it, let me feel it, it's this one, this one was the pick of destiny. I'll open up this one second, and see what we could've gotten, but right here, right here, in the hat hype, and turn it around boys, this guy of us Willie and last time, I'm feeling it this time, give me someone good, give me someone amazing, give me someone incredible, you are! Burke! <laughs> Graham Burke, the not very good Pokemon. That is all. Alright, so I did ask for a striker, and uh, the, the, the Pokemon gods saw fit to give us a 58 rated striker with a potential of 69. <laughs> let's go ahead, let's see what we got in this one, guys. Let's see who we could have pulled right here. And we could have had Westwood, definitely a lot better. All right, guys, let's see if we get Burke. Remember, if uh, it's the blue ball, then that means we get to capture him. And if it's red, that means we get to release him. Oh, please let us capture him. Yay. Really, coin? Really? We couldn't capture Willian, but you're going to give us Burke? All right, guys, so I'm so excited to capture Burke. He's going to be in a welcomed addition to our team. Yay. All right, guys, so we captured that guy. It's really, really hype. But let's get hype, guys, for Olympic Leon, because, oh, my goody goodness, what a roster they have. Can we get ourselves a Lacazette? Come on, come here, Lacazette. I want to grab your boobies. I want to grab your boobies. <laughs> look at that team. Benzia, Tolisso, Griner. We already captured for fun. And look at that. Um, titties. Maybe we get a little um titties up in our team. But there we go. This is why we had that second team out for the Ashton Villains. It's because I wanted our top team up there. Harry Kane, Zerkovic back into the roster. Huddleston. And can we get through the first ones? Patrick whipping it inside to I. And unfortunately, a good save. A good save right there. Uh, by Lopez and now we're gonna keep on going on and I was using the same tactics if you guys remember from a previous episode We destroyed one with Leon and this is the same formation same tactics and it was working like gangbusters Except right there Denning Sports really should have done something just anything You just let it green off of his shoulder But as you can see all the highlights were us and it was only a matter of time before we get Nothing because we're gonna miss again guys We should be up by three goals already and just be pulling all of their players out of that goddamn tall grass but Halilovic letting us down is... I, I often forget the team plays so well sometimes, but we're still like a 66 rated team overall. Lazurkovic is going to go ahead and say, you know what, I'm not rated 66 coach, because we're going to sweat it across. And at first it looked like Harry Kane was going to get the goal, but look at this, Fofana, the guy that ha we already captured, is already scoring goals for us. That is right, Fofana has opened up his scoring account for Barcelona right here as he scores an own goal. He knows what team he's playing for. He knows what team he's playing for, guys. Well done, Fofana. Well done, good lad. And that would take us into the halftime, and we would get the ball back to start it off right here. And it would be us once again. Who are we going to find? Kane to Halilovic who lays it off perfectly, time to Zerkovic going across Lopez! And Lopez might have done better, but Zerkovic is saying, you know what, Fofana, I know you're trying to show off to the coach right now. Beautiful assist by Holovic, being very patient, not not quite moving, just being a little central hub right there, and laying it up beautifully off to Zerkovic, who finishes it with the water gun. Look at this squirtle guy. Man, he is pretty much going to be evolving into a war troll pretty soon, because he's leading the goal. He's leading this team in goals, even, even better than Harry Kane is art. And well done, well done for the number 34 Barcelona. And with that, with two goals in the lead, I thought maybe I'm... I'm... 
Now bring in some fresh legs and see if we can see the sound. But we are almost able to win it away. But then look at this, just a series of quick passes in succession. And Olympic Leon is back in this game in the 78th minute. What happened? Our defense just turned to Swiss cheese and we are shredded apart naked like a 4x damage uh, like lightning bolt up against a Gyarados. Man, that was critical, super duper effective. What the heck happened? And Dola, come on. Come on, man. At least not. Not your best. Not the best episode for the ground loop, but I thought I'd bring in some fresh legs. Our midfield was definitely tiring out, so we're going to go ahead and bring in some defense, add a little bit of spine, and then see if we can get something. Maybe get ourselves a second full of this. There's still time left. 82nd minute. We play to I. Who plays it back to Adama? Adama! Adama Kong! Get Kong! That is the wrong genre. <laughs> that is the wrong game. We aren't playing Donkey Kong. We're playing Pokemon. But, woo, look at that Tiki Taka. Oh, going, playing it back and forth, finding a bit of space, running onto it and slamming it. Top shelf hyper beam into the top netting. And we got to come up with a nickname for young Adama, guys. What Pokemon? Leave in the comments down below. What Pokemon do you think Adama kind of uh, resembles most? Remember, he's kind of he's kind of pacey. He's kind of tricky. You know, like a fast. Yeah. He can score, he got a little bit of defense, but there we go guys! We are able to secure a two goal win! Ah, yes! Alright guys, so we beat Leon by two goals, which means we get two pulls at 100% capture rate out of the tall grass right here, and that includes their starting roster, which has people like freaking Lacazette. We've already captured Fulfana. Who else can we get out of this? We need a striker. Come on, Lacazette. Come on, Lacazette. I know you're in here. Let's I got one. I got two right here. Should we go in the hat hype again? In the hat hype is real. Let's go ahead and put you here first. Let's go ahead and take a look. Oh wait, I gotta put him. I gotta put you. Come on, let's get that. Let's get that head and shoulders. Let's get that dandruff shampoo onto this right here. Feel it, feel it, feel it. All right, let's rub it on the nips. Rub it on the nips a little. All right, nip luck. Is the nip luck real? Is the nip luck real? You are. Enjoy! Clinton Enjai, the pacey striker Pokemon. While he has great pace and agility, his first touch and finishing all suspect. All right, Enjai, a pretty good, a pretty good striker winger, a potential of 79. I can work with that. I can work with that. Let's go ahead and see right here out of the hat hype. Let's get a little bit of nip luck. A little bit of nip luck. Get it with the nips. Can we get someone good? Can we get someone amazing? You are Toliso! Corentin Toliso, the Steelix type Pokemon. Amazingly well rounded stats, he can play any position in the midfield and strengthen any team's spine. Woo! We get yet another good CM CDM. He can play both of the left backs and right backs as well. Very good player, very good player. Now, this is gonna be interesting, guys. Because right here, you guys get to vote between Toliso and Enjai right here. And personally, I would actually go for Enjai. He only has uh, one potential lower than Toliso. And we really need uh, another striker in this team. We already gotten a couple of good CM CDMs in Huddleston, in uh, Anita, and in, uh, and in Fofana. So personally, guys, it's up to you. I will do as you guys vote. Remember, go ahead and vote in the straw poll down below. And uh, yeah, we will see who we add to the shortlist in the next episode. All right, guys, so two good pulls. Enjai? I want to mine an Enjai. He meant maybe he could be the Grey Ninja. Oh, uh, like the Grey Ninja, like the Froakie evolution? What do you think? What do you think? Anyway, we're going up against Newcastle. Look at this lineup. Yet again, another team starting their B team up against this overtime Aaron Sissoko, maybe the only first in Riviera are the only kind of uh, two players that I really recognize from this team that are in the first team. Oh, Tioche, Tioche is in the first team too, yeah, but there we go. Uh, a modified half, guys, full of first team players as well as a couple of second team players because we are dealing with a little bit of a stamina issue with some of our guys. But now they're going to be going in first time, hitting it off, and he parries, and we're... <laughs> Look at this, Andoa drops the ball. Andoa, a shaky episode for you, man, maybe. Maybe, maybe we can get ourselves a better goalie in the future. But he's been pretty solid for us. And then we turn defensive to attack. Zangu, Tuspok Tus is in. I've been calling his name wrong the whole entire time. It's Tuspok. And now we're going to keep on going on. Once again, Huddleston is not very fast. The Snorlax trying to mosey on down, but it wasn't happening for him. And then Newcastle was on the attack. And that should should have done better right there. Should have done better. And look at this tackle on Tuspok right there. 
on Dirty Dirty Colback. Colback doing a very, very harsh tackle from behind. And Donga Tuzvac is down, guys. He is down. Critically injured. He's getting carted off. You know when that ambulance bus is there, it's never good. We're going to have to bring in Zerkovic into this game. And a terrible tackle by John Colback right there. Just right into the legs right behind dirty tackle could we avenge this and i was pissed off because we don't have a lot of strikers guys this was crucial if he's out for an extended period of time we are fucked <laughs> i'm sorry for swearing but that is the only way to define it because it's we'd only have three strikers we'd have to change a lot of things it would be pretty pretty uh terrible it'd be pretty effing terrible for us but now we couldn't worry about that we need to get revenge in this game harry kane off of the post, come on Harry Kane is hard. it's been a while since he scored, and come on Harry Kane, you got it again, come on, be strong! And unfortunately, two chances floated away from Harry Kane is hard. Harry Kane is hard. and uh, yeah, it was getting pretty late in this game, could we finally get a winner? Harry Kane, he's got a defender right on him, Gil using the HM4, using strength, and then flamethrower into the side netting, and he's saying, come here, come here, come here you Newcastle players. And let me touch, let me touch the boobies. Look at the strength of Harry Kane Hazard using HM strength and then flamethrower into the bottom net right there. Woo! That, that is the Charizard. That is a thoroughbred Charizard if I have ever seen one. boy, giving up two earlier chances, but nah, that time, impressive. Impressive, young man, impressive. And now, could we hold on to this lead right here? No, oh, the young. Almost getting onto the head of that, but now we're going to go ahead and play a little one, two, beautiful one, two pass around here. Suarez cuts it across the formation. What does he see? Who does he look for? He plays it to Zergovic. Beautiful, beautiful pass. And the key thing of that is the weight of that pass right there. And ah, oh, yeah, doing the boogie down, doing the boogie down. But the thing that I most appreciate about this is usually when you hit this pass right here, this through pass, it goes way too far, and you make the def uh, you make your your offensive. Striker take an extra touch in that time. It was weighted perfectly. He caught it perfectly perfect first touch And that is what created that goal and that is what is gonna get us this win up against Newcastle But now for the tough news how long Would I do to stack be out? Let's take a look at it. Yeah, three months Fudge Popsicles all right guys, so we get a 2-0 win in that game, but it came at quite a cost we're already low on strikers and we lose Don Gutenberg for three months. That is a killer. So we need a pull striker. Long story short, we need to pull a striker. You guys need to vote for Enjai because I don't know, guys. We need a striker really, really bad. Just for depth right here. So let's go ahead and pull one from over here. Let's dig in over here and pull it out from here. And I need all the lux, man. I need all the lux. Let's go put you in the hat for now. Let's get a little bit of hat luck here. Let's go ahead, turn it around. So it's stored right there. <laughs> it was totally on accident. In the glove luck, on the nips luck. Oh, it has all, let's go two nips. Cause that's how much luck I need. Come on, man. Come on, man. Give me someone good. Give me someone good. You are Tim Cruel. Tim Cruel, the penalty stopping Pokemon. Big, tall, strong, extremely good at shot stopping, but Positioning is suspect. Alright, alright, alright. Tim Cruel, Tim Cruel, a pretty good keeper, pretty darn good keeper, so uh I like Endoa, I like Endoa, but it never hurts to have a little bit of competition right there. But we're gonna go ahead and get this right here out of the hat luck. Turn behind. Let's gonna go both nips on this one. Let's see if the nip luck is real. We're gonna peel it back one layer at a time. Who are we getting? We are getting Colback! Jack Colback. Dickhead Pokemon. That is all. Okay, so just hit me that Colbeck is actually the kid who broke Topak's ankle, so yeah, do not vote for Colbeck at all. We have enough CDMs, and we don't need this asshole on our team. I don't want him anywhere near our team. We go up against Newcastle some other time in the season for some reason. I'm gonna try to break his ankle. Vote for Tim Cruel. Let's keep it cool with Tim Cruel. And with that, guys, I will have to conclude this episode of the Pokemon Career Mode. I'd like to give a thank you to all you guys who watched. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you feel humble enough to do so, please go ahead and critical hit 
that like button. Remember, you guys got two straw polls to vote for for both uh, the Leon players as well as the Newcastle players. Please vote for Ninjai. Please, please, please vote for Ninjai. We need Striker. We need Striker so bad. And then who's that Pokemon? It was Herman the German, the Tots edition. A lot of you guys got him, but the three to get him first were these three. BCHT Gaming as well as Mohammed Altani, you guys are both in it again, but newcomer Albert Nguyen squeezed it in too. There you guys go and join the showcase. I'd like to give a shout out to my hometown NBA team, Go Dubs, Go Warriors in the NBA Finals. And yeah, that is pretty much it for me, Be Minus. Remember, stay humble. I only got one question left for you guys.